What do you so so when I say you know there are values built into games? What what kind of response do you have to that? I guess one response is like duh, right? Like you know there are values built into water bottles and tables, and, and in some ways the interesting thing about the argument is that it's an interesting argument in the first place. That it's surprising to us to think that there are values in this popular medium in the same way that there are values in every designed object. Right. Right. So you know, like, which, which isn't to say that it's 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 ridiculous or, or incoherent at all, but rather that the, the the surprise or the novelty of the idea is the most surprising thing about it. Right. Yeah. You know, like I think you could convince someone that there are values in street signs and and more easily maybe than you could convince them that there are values in games or in play. In some ways, it's because the more ordinary something is, the more familiar it is, and when something's familiar, then you're more you're more likely to to see it in a different light, um, to be but, willing but, to kind of but, see it from a different perspective. But the fans probably are the ones, you know, the, yeah, and they the are fans, familiar. For the fans who are very familiar, you know, they some of them are blinded by that familiarity, and others um, are ready maybe now to, to see them in this way, like the, that, like street signs. Oh yeah, I do see that. I see. I see what you mean. You know, it kind of cuts both ways though. Mm. You know, there's the there's the kind of familiarity that leads to um, kind of a, a new openness and depth, and then there's the familiarity that leads to. Um, just a sense of uh, kind of uh, uh, ideolo- ideological um, uh, blindness. Uh, like I, I'm not. I don't know what I'm doing, and I'm not willing to talk about it. What do you think about? Um, what do you think designers should be doing to really reflect on this issue? Because you make things. I mean, how do you? Right, how yes, do you? I, mean, I mean, one one I, you know one thing is that if designers are kind of of the world um, more, then they will see this they will see these patterns more often. So, I mean, one of the interesting trends in game development over the past decade has been that game developers who've stuck around, a lot of game developers just churn out and they go into other other businesses, and that's been happening for decades. But the ones who've stuck around now are realizing, oh, you know, I'm not I'm not a, a 24-year-old white dude anymore. I'm now a 34-year-old white dude, <laughs> which sounds ridiculous, but it's, you know, it's a small victory in which, you know, they have families and kids and, they, you know, they start to see the world in a different light. Um, it's a little silly to kind of maybe I'm infantilizing this a little bit, but but just just that idea of being a little more worldly, which then leads you to realize, ah, you know, I'm, I'm, I actually care about more than the, the, which which flavor Doritos I'm going to pick from the kitchen. Um, there are other things that are important to me. So that's you know yeah. that, that's that's something that's happening already. 